Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 7b. 1 Samuel, chapter 16, verse 7b. Amen. Praise the Lord. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For a man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. This, of course, came when Samuel, God was telling Samuel to anoint David as the new king. When the people asked for a king, they, God gave them Saul, who was taller than everyone else, very handsome and good looking and all that. And the people were so excited to get someone who was tall and handsome to be their king and lead them. And that's pretty much what the world does today as well, looking at outward appearances. But God, on the other hand, looked to that teenager, that young, ruddy kid who had a heart for God. And that's who he anointed to be the true king over Israel. Praise the Lord. And we have some supporting verses here. Luke 16, 15, Jesus said to the Pharisees, You are those who justify yourselves before men, but God knows your hearts. For what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. Amen. It's true. What the world looks highly upon is not what God looks highly upon. It doesn't mean if someone's blessed with good looks that they're disqualified from the kingdom, but it's not what's important to God and it's not to be important to us. Otherwise, we're going to treat people who are tall, dark, and handsome, good looking, beautiful, differently than we're going to treat people who are missing limbs, who have a lot of scars or pimples. But God, God doesn't look at that. And God doesn't want us to look at that either. Doesn't want us to be swayed by those things. Proverbs 31, verse 30. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Amen. Someone who, whose heart is really concerned about what God is concerned about more than what the world is concerned about. And a woman, the church is the bride of Christ. This doesn't only apply to women. It applies to all of us, putting God's desires and wants and his concerns above what people think is, a, is, is what is praised in God's eyes. Praise the Lord. First Peter chapter three, verses three and four. Do not let your adornment be merely out for, outward. In some translations, merely is not even there. Arranging the hair, wearing gold or putting on fine apparel. And we can talk about lots of other things that we do to try to make ourselves impressive in front of people. Rather, let it be in the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quite quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Very precious in the sight of God is really just a heart for God, a heart for people. That's what God really lifts up. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 26 through 30. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. In other words, the things that the world lifts up. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised, God has chosen. And the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's the beauty that we can all look to uh, because it's what he did for us that we can just honor him and praise him and be glad if we're not chosen because of our beauty, our, our strength, or all those things that the world cares about, which all will be passing. It's all going away. But our hearts are God's and they'll live forever. Praise the Lord. Uh, 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today, and we thank you for reminding us that uh, we can. We, what you care more about is not what we, how we, how much time we devote to our physical person, which of course is all about making people like us. But instead, work calls us to work on the things that are of the heart, the things that you care about. Give us heart to know you better to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. And you'll surround us with people who will love us regardless of how we look or anything else. We'll all be treated with love. That's the answer, Lord. And so help us remember this. Convict us when we do otherwise. And finish the work you started in us. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.